Und ich sage Hallo und ein ganz, ganz herzliches Willkommen zurück zu einem neuen Part The Longest Journey. Ja, ich bin hier noch in der Roma-Galerie, wo ich mich mit Cortez getroffen There's hatte. Absolutely nothing out there. Nothing. Und ja, ich muss jetzt dann so langsam mal zurückfahren, damit ich arbeiten gehen kann. Ich übernehme von Susan, hieß die, glaube ich, die Schicht. Und damit ich dann nicht zu spät komme und Stanley nicht vollkommen ausflippt, ist das jetzt so der nächste Weg. Der Cortez hat mir nicht wirklich geholfen, also der hat irgendwie so das ganze Mysteriöse eher schlimmer als besser gemacht. Ist natürlich nicht so toll, aber na gut, so ist es. Sweet old ladies just ain't what they used to be. <lacht> gut, um, dann back to East Venice und um, Richtung Coffee um, Store. Hier, die Frau ist jetzt auch weg, guck. Okay. So. Guck mal, der malt da immer noch. Gibt's ja nicht. Ich renne hier mal rüber. Ich flitze wie der Wind. Ne? Damit ich hier zur Arbeit komme. Ich hoffe, da muss ich auch als nächstes hin. Ich weiß es nicht genau. Guck mal, die Skateboardfahrer sind jetzt weg hier. Da steht jetzt ein Pärchen. Mhm. Auf geht's. Das ist total nett, dass sich da so die... Leute, die Charaktere, die so rumstehen, dass die sich ändern, obwohl ich mit denen gar nicht irgendwie interagieren muss. Ne? Das finde ich schon echt so ganz cool. Muss ich ganz ehrlich sagen, das gefällt mir sehr. Sowas mag ich. Und das war auch ähm, gerade zu der Zeit ja nicht unbedingt selbstverständlich. So. Hi, Charlie. What's up, April? Ähm, okay, I'll nee, see you later, da ist Charlie. nichts weiter. Die later. Gespräche habe ich geführt. Ich wollte eigentlich arbeiten. Kann ich hier... Ja, guck mal, der steht jetzt hier woanders in der Gegend rum. I'm all scrubbed and ready to work, sir. Ja, sehr gut. You'll be on the floor tonight, honey. Start taking orders. Alles klar. Mach ich. Der sieht auch aus, ne? find Cortez and get him to explain what the hell's going on. Insane or not, he's the only person I can talk to about this. <lacht> ja, ich das glaube ich allerdings auch. Das ist ja total freaky. Ey. Was kam denn da aus der Jukebox raus? Was habe ich mir denn in meinem Tagebuch aufgeschrieben? Saturday, July, um, July um, 29. 2209. In a few hundred years, when my great-grandchildren rummage through the attic and find this book, they're probably gonna have a ball. I'm not even sure if I want to write about what happened last night because chain changes are I will never forget. Ever. And future generations will likely be better off not knowing. But I'm sure now that whatever going on, it's not just in my head. It's in everybody's head. Last night was a proof positive of that, which begs the question, the things I've seen, my dreams, what's real and what's not. I'm afraid of the only person who might be able to answer that question is Cortes. How is that for irony? Irony. Uh, irony. <laughs> that in order to prove to myself that I'm not going mad and I have to talk to one person, I'm sure it's totally insane. What a great way to start the weekend. Privilege. Privilege. Ja. Wohl wahr. Ähm, nee, ich möchte hier nicht quitten. Ich möchte hier zum Spiel zurückkehren. Alles klar. Na, das ist ja echt freaky. Na gut, dann gucke ich jetzt hier mal. Wo, wo Hat er gesagt, wo der sich mit mir treffen will? Ich weiß das gar nicht mehr. Ich hampel hier jetzt auch gar nicht lange rum, ne? Ich gehe jetzt hier tatsächlich einfach runter und gucke, ob ich Cortez erwische. Also wenn ich irgendwelche Figuren und Wesen sehe, die... Was ist denn mit dir los, Fiona? Die außer Musikbox kommen. Also das ist ja nicht normal. Was mit Fiona? Die steht da so aufgeregt am Fenster. 
Um, anything interesting going? Anything interesting going on outside? Did you ever question your own sanity, April? I mean, did you ever wonder if you were going mad? Um. I'm quite certain I am insane. I'm not trying to amuse you, April. I'm really serious. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, I felt like that. Many times. Then explain it to me. How do you deal with it? Do you lock it away inside yourself, or do you talk to someone about it? Because I'm at a loss here, April. I don't know what to do. Yeah, what is happening? Um, you have to give me more to go on than that, or I locked it away. I talked to someone about I it. I talked to someone about it. That's what I figured. It's not something you can just stow away and forget about. What I saw, I won't ever be able to forget that, real or not. Now, what did you, you see? Mm -hmm. Last night, right here in this room, Mickey and I, we were watching a movie, a documentary about the new synthetic rainforests in Mexico. You know, the ones that produce eight times the oxygen of the original organic forests. I've heard But about... But I'm digressing. Anyway, about halfway through the movie, like I said, I'm probably going completely bonkers. This room became a, a... It was more like a vision, really, and I'm sure it wasn't holographic. What kind of vision? This room turned into a forest. What? This is creepy. It okay. was like the forest came out of the screen and into the room. Like being in the middle of a hollow theater, but with added resolution, hallucinogenic effects, and... and smells. It only lasted for a few seconds, and then it all just disappeared. Did anyone else see this? Mickey did, but she refuses to speak of it. Says it was just our imagination acting up, which leaves me wondering how long it'll take before I end up in a mental institution. I don't think you're going crazy, Oda. I've been seeing strange things lately too, Oda. Some something equally wild happened at the cafe last night. Ich ähm, nimm mal die Mitte. I've been seeing strange things lately too. Like what? Last night at the cafe, right in front of everybody, this creature appeared out of thin air, just like your forest. It was only there for a few seconds and then it disappeared. But everybody saw it. Everybody. Oh my, what's going on, love? I don't scare easily, but this is really getting to me. Don't know, but whatever it is, I think, I'm pretty sure, Cortez is involved. Okay. Cortez? Mm -hmm. How is he involved? I don't know that either. I'd love to find out, though. Mm, hast du den schon gesehen, heute? Have you seen Cortez today? No, darling. I don't think he's around. Do you have any idea where Cortez is? Sorry, he could be anywhere. Well, he does enjoy going uptown to watch old movies in some revival cinema, but where that is, I wouldn't know. Okay. Who'd know? Perhaps Zack. He's uh, after all the self-appointed film expert around here. You should talk to him, darling. Great, Zack. My very best friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> could you tell Cortez I'm looking for him? Certainly, darling. If I happen to see him. Thanks. What other weird things have happened lately? Little things, like movement in the corner of your eye that's gone when you turn your head. And noises. The kind you're not supposed to hear in the city. Animal noises. Wild animals. This is schon irgendwie alles And once, creepy. this was very early in the morning, mind, a few days ago, I looked down into the canal and saw what looked like an underwater city. But as I looked at it, it dissolved into ripples of water. Scary. You're telling me, darling. I'm scared of cockroaches, for God's sake. What do you think this does to my nerves? <laughs> oh, man, yeah, okay. Any idea where Cortez might be? Like I told you, darling, I wouldn't know. Ask Zack. Yeah, done. I have to get going. Take care of yourself out there, darling. Ja, ich gehe hoch und klopf jetzt bei Zack. Na, dem kann ich zwar nicht leiden, aber was soll ich machen? Na los, renn schon. Zack. I never imagined I'd be doing this in a million years.
Well, well, what do you know? The princess comes knocking after all. <laughs> uh, yes, I finally realized what I was missing out on or that don't get your hopes up or give me one good reason why I shouldn't knock you out. Um, don't so. get your hopes up. I think you're the one who's got her hopes up, babe. And you better hope I don't slam this door in your face. Just do time. me one favor first, okay? Well, give me a reason to, babe. A reason? You want a reason? Okay. What about a date? Yeah. Good. Tonight. Uh, sure. Tonight. I'll meet you at the... pavilion, was it? And, uh, are you gonna put out? What? Uh, I mean, if I'm gonna use my VIP passes and my pills, babe, I just gotta know if it'll be worth it or not. You on? <laughs> we'll see, Zach. Uh, just don't do a Houdini and vanish on me, babe. If you're a no-show and I wait around for you all night, I end up looking like an asshole. And that wouldn't make me very happy. I'll be a good girl and show. Smart. So, uh, what do you want to know? Um, you know where I can find Cortez. Ich frag mal nach dem Theater. Where can I find the theater that shows old movies? No? Yeah. There are quite a few that do, but only one that runs optical stock. I figure that's the one you want, yeah? Why? Because that's where Cortez likes to hang out. And I'm guessing you're trying to hook up with him. No, no. I just need to do some research for a painting. Babe, I'm not a moron. I see you guys <laughs> together. What are you, his lover? The shriveled old weirdos turn you on? What is it, his accent? His acute lack of fashion? It's not what you think. Whatever. Hey, like I give a shit? You're with me tonight. By tomorrow morning, I don't think you'll find that old creep so appealing anymore. So, where's Cortez? Uh, when he's not outside reading or whatever the hell he does. He's usually at the Mercury Theater. They show old movies on real celluloid stock through a projector. Like in the fucking Middle Ages. Where's this theater located? I don't remember the street it's on. It's been ages since I was there last. But you'll find it if you head out the East Gateway from Metro Circle. It's close to the Radio Power Building. And there are tons of adult stores in the area. Actually, if you're not too busy, you could pick up something for us to watch tonight. Something really filthy. Zach, oh. I don't think... Hey, whatever. <laughs> I was just kidding, yeah? Babe, you got a major bug up your ass. Get a fucking sense of humor, yeah? I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the tip and the info. Just be at the pavilion by ten, okay? Yeah, yeah. I don't like waiting around for babies like you. Got a million better things to do. And it wouldn't be a good idea for you to ditch me. Not a good idea at all. Alter, der ist doch echt nicht ganz normal, oder? Also, Kinosprich ist der wirklich nicht hier. Ähm, ja gut, so ist es dann halt. Ich würde aber sagen, ich mache jetzt hier an dieser Stelle tatsächlich... Ach so, ich wollte hier noch ins Tagebuch reingucken. Zack. I made myself a solemn promise regarding this diary. On the day I first met him, I swore that Zack Lee would never, ever, ever be mentioned in this book. Ever. Whoops. Well, promises are made to be broken, right? I just wish I didn't have to break this one. I mean, it's not because he's an asshole. He is, but that's not what um, bothers me. And it's not because he's constantly hitting on me either, or because he lives right across the hall and everything, and every time I take a shower he just happens to wander into the bathroom, or because he's less mature than a spoiled four-year-old, four-year-old, and with the um, vocabulary and ima imagination of a 14 years old. No, the thing about Zack that bothers me the most is that he's so smug about himself. He thinks he's a bomb, so to speak. And no matter what I say to discourage him, he doesn't get it. Asking him for help goes against everything I believe in, but apparently if I want to find Cortez anytime soon, I don't have choice. This is so humiliating. Thing. According to Zach, I can find Cortez uptown right of Metro Circle at the movie theater called Mercury Theater, if I know that that's an Orson Welles reference. It makes sense because I remember him saying something about old movies yesterday morning. I'll have to catch the subway to get there. Oh, I can't wait. 
I so love Metro Circle. The prostitutes, the drug dealers, the dis disimposing carabage, the tourists. Oh yeah, sweet. Note to self, next time you promise to go on a date with Zach Lee, bring somebody along to put a bullet through your head, like do. Ja, und damit verabschiede ich mich dann jetzt mal. Dann weiß ich ja, was ich im nächsten Part zu tun habe. Und ich würde mich freuen, wenn du mich da dann auch wieder begleitest. Bis dahin wünsche ich dir eine schöne Zeit und sag ciao, ciao.